Where the hell is the key? Where the fuck is the key? Please say that. That's the key. No, it's a fucking hollow needle. Where the hell is. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's wonderful. Thank God I've got a load of them. It's. It's locked. It's fucking locked. Yeah, it's actually breaking through the door. Damn! I can't use this, can I? Okay, I could. No idea how you use a hollow needle to get through there, but still. I made it. I'm alive. Please say there's no more water. Maybe there's no more monsters. Please? Please, game? Monsters, don't push my barrel! Don't push my fucking barrel! It's being chased. Jesus fucking hell. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, I'm actually going to stop in a couple of minutes. At least there's no more water. Jesus Christ. Well, Daniel, you're alive. Hey, look. Here's the scene from the intro. At least it's peaceful, legs. Ah, I can splash in the water. Isn't that just great? Oh. Come on, Daniel. Have a shower. We've earned it by now. Okay. Guess we should move on, shouldn't we? Where the hell are we going? Still no mementos, okay. But at least we're alive, aren't we? We sure are. For fuck's sake. This game, really? Just this game? Let's go into the guest room. That's probably nice. Probably nicer than, than the archives and all that. Journal, come on. What would they want with my journal? I just remember. It isn't nice. It seriously isn't nice. Because I know for a fact that shit's going down here. Like, a monster's going to show up and try to rape me. Ooh, a crowbar. I don't even know why I need it yet. I'm sure I need it for something though. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. So 
Yeah. Oh, that's another save point, probably. Daniel. Oh no. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. What the hell was he doing in my room? Watching me sleep? That doesn't seem very nice. Those noises? Did they really have to put all of those sc freaking scary noises in? Because, ah, oh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of, of the noises they're using. Seriously, I'm not. So. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Weird. More oil. I'm gonna grab all the oil I, I can. I don't need more tinder boxes though. I've got two. Well, I can use the crowbar, can't I? See? Sure I can. And it broke. Wait! Please, let it be here. I'm gonna close the door behind me. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled! I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. This entire game is all too strange. Seriously, it is. Well, that's just clothes. I don't have any use for those. Just like I apparently don't have any use for legs. Shit! Shit! No! No! There's no one here. Oh my god. Shit. 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 Oh my god! Just leave. Just leave. There's no one here. There you go. Seriously? Seriously? Can't I move those clothes? No, I can't. Otherwise, this 
key that I was looking for might have very well been in there, but I guess not. So, okay. I'm okay. I'm actually okay. Let's go to the study. Oh my god. Well, it's nice and light here. Guys, viewers, watchers, friends, I think I'm done. I'll probably play both this game and the Skyrim mod more, either during the week or, well, probably this weekend. This last part will most likely be uploaded on Friday anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Goodbye!